close run thing, but it wasn't to be in the end. What's your assessment of the game overall? Yeah, I think um, obviously disappointed. I think we we got ourselves in a position where we could have could have won the game. Um, you know, credit to the way I think Slats and Sol obviously got us going, and then um, you know everyone chipped in. But yeah, I mean, just a shame we fell uh, fell just short in the end. What was it like to be at the other end during that over from Liam? Yeah, unbelievable. To be honest, I think. Um, he had a free hit, I think the the over before uh, where he belted it um, over cover for six, and then yeah he was off. So um, we know he's in you know a very special ball striker, um, having a very good year as well. So his confidence is high, um, and yeah I mean he's been doing some um, very special things. And a fifty for yourself at over a runner ball. How have you found the adaptation to the uh, the white ball format this summer? No, I'm enjoying it. I think. Um, yeah, I mean we're right in the thick of it now, so it's just it's nice just to be able to play game game after game and keep that kind of momentum going. Um, and uh, yeah, now I'm enjoying it. Were you conscious out there today that the pace of the chase needed to stay quite high to keep you with a chance? Yeah, I mean I think it was always that balance of um, keeping up with the rate and not letting it get out of hand, but um, you know setting up as well, so trying to keep wickets in hand and set up for the last ten or twelve overs. That's what we spoke about. Um, we felt like we could score at you know tens plus if we needed to in the last ten overs. Um, obviously, with the way Liam played, um, that became eights and nines. So um, yeah, I mean, I think uh, you know if we were able to keep a few more wickets in hand in those last four or five overs, I think we'd have had a real chance. But we were, I think, the ball quite nicely to, to good plans, and um, it wasn't an easy wicket to start on actually. So uh, no credit to them. How much does it change what you do as a, as a player or as a captain when it becomes a rain reduced game like today's? Yeah, I mean, it's you know it's challenging definitely. I think you know being off for rain, you have to find a way to switch on um, quite quickly when once it all clears up. So that's one of the challenges that you face. But um, obviously the reduced nature of it, it means it's you know high intensity and, and the opposition are going to come quite hard, especially when we start with the ball. So um, actually, I think the way we started with the ball was outstanding. I think um, the way Punny and um, Ledge started us off was it was top draw, um, and actually guys came in and chipped in. And, you know, Fate got the important wicket um, of Rob Yates, um, and you know the way Chappie came back and picked up wickets again was was very good as well. So um, you know it's it's fine margins. We've not lost by much there at all. So um, yeah, I guess it's just little one percenters that we can try and improve on, and we'll try and do that over the next couple of games. And yeah, a couple of games left in the group stages. It's a very tight group, so it's it's almost effectively knockout cricket before the knockout stages. How how do you think this group are going to react to that over the next week or so? Quite a few young players in there, of course. Yeah, no, I've got no doubts about the way they'll react. We've you know we've seen already that the guys respond well to um, to setbacks, and we've got another opportunity to show that we've got two obviously big games coming where if we win both, we've got the carrot of getting through through to a quarter final. So um, no, the incentive is there, nice and clear, which I think the boys will respond well to. Um, and they're looking forward to Friday.